Okay, and then I'm also going to look at it on my phone. So that way I can see what's happening. Cool, Jasmine, we are live. Super excited for you and super proud of you. Congratulations on being the 2023 Meta Jackson Award uh, for scholarships. And um, man, you're a very talented young lady. Do you know that? Yeah. I very mean, talented. Very yeah. talented. So, you know, I was one of the lucky ones along with our scholarship panel to read your application and see all of your work. Um, so will you do me the honor and give us a little bit of background about who you are? Uh, so basically, my name is Jasmine. I've come from like, basically, I've just been into art ever since like I was just in elementary and just going into high school. I just got more involved into it, more involved into context. And I just it made me develop my style more and why I actually wanted to do that craftsmanship. So it's just like a hobby that just grew into something more that I want to study and actually learn more about in the future. So tell us about your art. What exactly is it? Well, currently it was for my AP portfolio study. So it's about the concept of immortality and how we can influence it through personal desires. So I'm pretty sure one of the ones I submitted to you was Yungto, and that was a piece of personal connection between me and my mother and how I wanted her to like live forever and be with me despite like that not being possible, obviously. That's just like a lot of like forces on that, just like wanting something to live for you forever, even though like it's not really possible. It is super beautiful, by the way. Yeah. So how did you, so you've been doing art since elementary mm -hmm. school. So how, like, what got you into arts? I would say it would mainly be my eighth grade art teacher. Uh, he's currently my AP art teacher this year. So it was a really big surprise to see him again. But he just got me into, like, uh, the national, um, national art contest, which is VASE. And through that, it was just a whole experience where I submit my work, I got to see other people's work, and that kind of just inspired me to be like, oh, there's like better ways I could do my artwork and I could actually like go farther into this contest and do better. Wow. So what all are you involved in high school? And what in which high school are you going to? I'm go I go to Bryan High School. Mm -hmm. And what all are you involved in in high school? I'm in the National Honor Society. I'm with the Bryan High Floral Club. And then I just do art on the side. Oh my gosh. Incredible talent. Love it. So do you have any art mentors or anybody that has inspired you? Um, I would just say my art teachers, they really pushed me to like further my work and like get better on it. And I feel like for my art pieces, especially the ones that are based off sculptures, I was mainly inspired by artists like Michelangelo, wow. just for like his form and everything. So, yeah, man, we can learn a lot from them, can't we? Yes. <laughs> so what school are you going to go to and what are you going to study? I'm going to Texas A&M and I'm studying Ooh. visualization. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an Aggie, so I, I absolutely love that. Cool. Yeah. So I know I interrupted you. So what are you going to be studying again? Uh, visualization, which is like graphic design in the arts mm -hmm. at AM. Yeah, they've got a great program for that. Me too. Phenomenal program for that. So over the years, with all the art you have done, what do you have a favorite piece or project? I do. Uh, it's the first piece that actually got me into the whole realism, surrealistic art style, and it was Visage. It's the first ever piece I did with charcoal and pen. Oh, wow. And it was just, it was like my first like realistic piece. So yeah, and it was kind of the start of like me going to the state contest and everything. So it was, wow. it was like just the beginning of what I do now. Wow, that's a pretty special piece. I love that, very <laughs> cool. So before we end our, our interview today, is there anything that you would like to add before we say goodbye? 
Mm, nothing much. I'm just really happy you chose me for this scholarship, like with my pieces and everything. So I want to thank you for that. Yeah, well, I, I am super glad you made it very hard on our committee because that is one of the things that I love when I get this committee together and they go through all these applications and it just makes us feel very blessed to live in the Brazos Valley because you guys have got some talent. Like there's some amazing talent in the Brazos Valley when it comes to the arts and wow, you just blew that committee away and super thankful uh, for that. And I bet that um, tons of people around you support you and we're super thankful that they're there supporting you and we are just happy. And again, congratulations again for, for winning a scholarship through the Arts Council. And um, I am looking forward to seeing all the great things that you do as, as you progress in your career. Thank you. Thank you.